The HydroSense 2410 is designed for high accuracy PPM measurement of your process and stream conditions. To accomplish this, an initial site setup and calibration will be required. Remember the instrument will be taking readings of your sample 50 times every second, 24 hours a day, every day of the year. Routine maintenance will be required to assure a successful operation. Since different oil types will provide different fluorescence yields and varying signature peaks, a site calibration is done. This matches the fluorescence reading of your stream sample against a lab-analyzed PPM value. A minimum of two calibration points are entered so that the RJ processor can determine an internal slope of fluorescence versus PPM. Up to five points can be added to define a tighter curve and range for high accuracy applications. Ideally, process water should be used for calibrating. This will allow the instrument to zero out any black ground fluorescence. A zero PPM reading can be one of the points. First, install the unit to its normal process conditions, enter the calibration mode using the factory password 2000, and proceed to the automatic calibration screen. Follow the prompts and enter the PPM value of the sample as it passes through the instrument. Since this value may not be known at the time of entry, you can substitute a temporary value of what will be typical. This will be corrected later. While this value is entered, take a grab sample of the water to be sent to your lab. This completes the first calibration entry. Do this procedure at least one more time with a different stream concentration. A change in the stream concentrations is observed by the changing fluorescence reading on the display. Nothing more needs to be done until the lab determines the true PPM values from your samples. Once known, enter the manual mode and correct your initial PPM values. Calibration is complete. The relay set points and output ranges can be changed at any time and simply entered through the keypad. Maintenance is even easier. Routine cleaning will be necessary at a frequency determined by your site conditions. The power and flow does not need to be turned off. In fact, it is best not to. Also, no tools are required. Simply open the chamber, move the lamp box to the door rack, you will observe the flow plate and sheening of the water that the sensor normally sees. The water should be sheening down the RJ flow plate without any obstruction. The flow plate has a special UV absorption film that negates the effect of buildup on the plate. However, continued buildup may eventually affect the accuracy. If there is buildup, simply wipe the glass with a clean paper towel or remove the plate to clean. To remove the plate, turn off flow, loosen tension screws, and simply remove the plate to clean. Replace the lamp box and close the door. The unit is now back in operation. It is recommended to check the unit daily when first installed and reduce the frequency of checks until an appropriate schedule has been determined for your site conditions. As the lamp degrades, it will eventually reach a level that activates the maintenance relay and displays a lamp failure warning. This will be prior to its actual failure to give you time to schedule a lamp replacement. To replace the lamp, open the lamp box door. The lamp has a plug-in terminal for easy replacement. Install the new lamp, close the door, and perform a recalibration. Lamps will typically last two to three years. User diagnostic checks can be assessed through the keypad and automatic diagnostic checks will be displayed on the screen if any concerns are identified. Routine maintenance is the most important aspect of any instrument. Be sure a firm cleaning schedule is put into place. Take advantage of the unique RJ design that makes this a simple two-minute procedure.